What's going on everyone? Welcome to another one of our life lesson videos here at Step Up to Greatness with me, your greatness facilitator, Dustin Gruss. This is a place to get your tips, tricks, inspiration, motivation, stories, ideas, concepts, all geared and moving you forward towards a life of greatness. Don't forget, we have our podcast that drops midweek, SC2G, Step Up to Greatness podcast, drops on Thursdays find it on your major podcast provider or you can check out these videos the podcast information on one-on-one coaching with me have me be a speaker for your company and information on my digital online course goals to greatness all at my website www.stepuptogreatness.com make sure you go check it out you might hear some crickets maybe a little traffic noise other background noise because I am maxing and relaxing in my backyard in a nice comfy Adirondack chair and I'm doing so in an area where over the last two weeks we put down 10 tons of river rock completely transformed our yard and it's just so nice peaceful I'm so glad to have the space and as I'm relaxing I started thinking about you know what, what are ways that I can really simply help you transform your life? And as I was thinking, I came up with these three easy switches, these three concepts to really help you change your life almost immediately. The first one, change your mind from a have to to a get to mentality. So instead of thinking, oh, I gotta go to work today. Oh, I gotta log in for this virtual meeting. Oh, I have to pick up the kids from practice. Oh, start looking at it as I get to do these things. Start looking for the positives in each of these things that you get to do. One, because when we are in a have to mindset, that means we're feeling entitled. We think that the world owes us stuff and that we shouldn't have to do these things. That things should just happen for us. And that's not a way to live. We want to live in the service mindset where we're helping serve others. Um, so switching to a get to mindset. Instead of, I have to drive 30 minutes to work, I get to go help people transform their health. I get to have a nice drive listening to whatever music I want to listen to on the way there. Or I get to catch up on some podcasts or I get to listen to some audiobooks. I get to do these things, but it helps get me in the mindset that I get to serve and help other people so look for the get to's in the things that you normally have to do the second thing while I'm telling you to look for the get to's when it comes to serving other people it's important to take that time for yourself as well make sure you're doing things that fill your tank I've already done a whole video on giving yourself green time um, which means doing the things that charge your battery, whereas the red things are the things that drain your battery. So make sure you're doing green things. And it could be, you know, working out, could be reading a book, could be um, going for a walk in the park, could be sitting in your backyard, um, could be talking to a counselor. Any of these things can be green things so number two make sure you're taking time for yourself and lastly as we're talking about taking that time for yourself one of the things you can do with that time for yourself is to put yourself in prayer or meditation if that's more of your choice for spirituality um, it is the reason I say to go to prayer and stuff is 
a lot of times we spend so much time focusing on what we want to happen that we're missing the shifts, the roadblocks, the opportunities to move towards something that's really more designed for us because we're too stubborn to look at the signs and the things around us um, to make that shift. So when I say to go in meditation and go in prayer, what we're doing is asking God or the universe or whatever form we believe in, like just, or really just your state of mind that you choose to be in to focus on what it wants out of you, the way things are going and what you want out of life. So really what you're tuning in to more of the way things should be, the way, the path that you should be on. So you can see the signs that, okay, I need to switch out of taking this road. I've been pushing, pushing, pushing. Maybe it's time to move to something else. Or maybe you've just missed signs altogether. But um, a cool thing about prayer that a lot of people don't know, um, amen means so be it. So, the thing I want to leave you with is that the end of a prayer, we say amen. So it's the end of a prayer, but it's the start of a goal, start of a dream, start of a journey, start of a promise. So when you take that time to go into prayer, and then you say amen, you are giving up to, giving up to the road that is going to be best for you because you're tuning into that. So those are the three ways that you can change your life almost immediately. So one, change from the have to to get to mentality. Two, take time for yourself. Do the things that fill your battery, not drain it. And three, Spend time in quiet or prayer or meditation, whatever you want it to be, to tune in to what is really going on in your life and around you and what you really want out of life and find the path where those things align. That is it. Again, very relaxed version of Life Lessons videos because... I want you all to have a great, relaxed life, but don't relax too much, because you should always keep moving forward and step up to greatness. Peace!